What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's happening, YouTube? Mid America Truck Show 2016 at the Night Transportation Booth. Letting you know to check out the Trucker Rudy Show. If you're not watching Trucker Rudy, you're not watching anything. You ain't watching even us. Change the channel. Change it now. Keep it here. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. Comment. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like. Thumbs up. Thumbs it up. Yeah, oh man, share it. to be there two o'clock this afternoon but uh, I doubt that very much if that's gonna happen but we'll see I guess yes we'll try and work our real hard but uh, might take a little bit to get down there we need to get some google juice here so uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a little Alrighty guys, here we are. We have fueled up the truck. Now we are ready to go. We got our go go juice. So now we're gonna put the hammer down. Yeah. As soon as we can, anyways. <laughs> well, I don't know. We can't put it all the way down, but uh, yeah, we'll go at regular speed 60 mile an hour. It's generally what we do. Unless the speed limit is lower. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we got us about four and a half hours in total to drive. And we got nine o'clock Central Standard Time right now. Or so that's gonna leave us with probably about a half an hour left by the time we gotta be there, right? 10, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, by 1.30 I should say we should be there. 1.30 quarter to 2 depending on how bad the border will be, how much delay we will have over there, and all that good stuff. But other than that, by two o'clock, we should be able to make it down there. That's what I think. Anyways, we'll see if that happens, but uh, yeah, we got us a bit of a drive. We're gonna go down there empty. We don't have a load on right now. And then we're gonna go pick up a, a very interesting load. Yeah, indeed it is. It's gonna be a load that's gonna be taking us across some nice looking back roads. And uh, not only that, it's gonna take us to the capital city of Canada. Yeah, how many of you know where that is? Well, it's taken us to Ottawa, Ottawa, Ontario. So that's a very interesting place. I haven't been there. Man, that's probably been a year, maybe even over a year since I've been through that area. So 
So you guys are going to get to see some very interesting footage from up there. Never seen by a lot of people. Since then I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. So uh, you guys have never seen Ottawa yet. That's right. But anyways, we're going to go cruise on through Steinbach. And then we'll make our way down to the border. Yeah, dispatch asked me where I wanted to cross. I could have crossed Emerson, but I figured, you know what? Today is Monday. By the time I get down to the border, I bet you there's gonna be a hundred trucks ahead of me. It's gonna take me 45 minutes to get across the border. So I said, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm gonna take the back roads up here and this border usually doesn't have a line up at all so I figured you know what we're just gonna take the chance go over here and actually dispatch said it was actually a few miles shorter too so uh, I mean yeah on the other highway you can go higher speeds but since I don't really go high speed normally anyways I mean yeah this last week Saturday I did just to come home ASAP but because we had that birthday party planned but other than that, uh, I just go my regular speed again. I'm going to have to do that now anyways because, uh, I mean, I haven't looked at my overspeed percentage yet, but uh, I did a good four, four and a half hours of that speed. So uh, with that kind of speed for four and a half hours, I bet you that percentage shot up quite a bit. So what we're going to do is uh, drive slower for the rest of the Down month, hopefully. Ahead. So that way uh, we can try and get that overspeed down a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Because otherwise I don't get paid my bonus at the end of the month. Well, we usually don't get it paid right away at the end of the month. We get it paid next month at the end of the month whatever I do this month I get paid at next month at the end of the month but yeah we do get a bonus if we keep our uh, speed uh, down and stuff like that and we uh, if we don't have no violations let's say no tickets or no logbook violations and stuff like that then uh, they actually pay us I think it's like five cents a mile bonus at the end of the month but it takes them a, a full month to uh, verify everything, right? So they, uh, they make sure that we have no violations, right? But yeah, that's nice, you know? So that way I, that's why I keep her at a slower speed. So that way I get, first of all, I get better fuel mileage. Second of all, I get my bonus at the end of the month. And that's usually a nice little paycheck, you know? Actually, the more miles you do, the more your bonus is going to be, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing here. They're washing this cement up here. But this is new, they didn't have this here before. But anyways, let's get on down the road and we'll show you what we can. We appreciate you guys riding along with us today. So that's coming right along for the rest of the day with us. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in Minnesota. That's right. Yeah, that was easy border crossing there. I mean, there was one truck ahead of me there, but uh, didn't take them very long to uh, get him through there. And he had to go pull into the side there. And I guess his freight wasn't cleared. I guess they didn't make sure that their stuff was good to go across the border. And there was two two trucks from that same company that was pulled over there to the side. Generally, I don't see that there at Rosa. Generally, there's nobody pulled to, pull aside there at Rosa. So uh, unless the DOT sits there, you know, the odd time the DOT will sit there and they'll do inspections, and that's when you see trucks in there. That's the only time. 
Apparently, uh, the loads that very few loads that cross there, anyways, and the ones that do, they are generally cleared, you know. So, uh, I guess these two guys didn't make sure their load was cleared, and the guy that was just ahead of me, he only had one brake light, too. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't even check his lights this morning. Oh, well, I guess he's going to get himself in trouble somewhere. If a scale pulls him over with that trailer. But I guess he's going to find out that at that time, Dan, you know, because I wasn't able to tell him. I was right there at the border. I couldn't talk on ECB. So, but here we are. I don't know if you can actually tell right now. But uh, we have gotten quite a bit of rain here in the last couple of days. And things are starting not to look so good. There's a lot of water. The ditches are standing, starting to get full of water. Everything is starting to get really soft. The ground is not able to handle the water that we got right now. I can tell you that much. But that's the way it is, I guess. But we are having a fantastic morning so far. Everything is just clicking like that, the way it's supposed to. Working good, so that's fantastic. I'm happy about that. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this today is one of the best blue Mondays, or Mondays you could call it. I don't like to call it a blue Monday today because it's a beautiful Monday today. At least so far, it's absolutely been a fantastic Monday. Usually Mondays don't always work as good as they are today. The reason why I'm saying that is I have already gotten to my pickup place and guess what? Everything worked out just like the way I was hoping for. Yes, indeed. They had already preloaded this load on a preloaded trailer, a pinner's trailer. So that was fantastic. And it's a nice light load. Only 12,600 pounds. Awesome! In two miles. Turn left oh, on US yeah. 10. Definitely fantastic. Just the way you would want it. Can't really ask for anything better than that. That's for sure. Just go in there, grab your paperwork, and in and out of there like in no time at all. They had a trailer sitting there. Just a trailer switch and I was out of there. Well... You know, a little bit of paperwork, you know. I had to do my paperwork real quickly to send it to uh, Penner so they can do the paperwork for the border crossing. But other than that, I mean, it was in and out, like, no time at all. So that's the way we like it. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So now begins the fun of riding all these back roads, which I have been doing all day already, but uh, we're going to have to cross South St. Marie. That's the closest way to get to this place. I think if I were to cross Sarnia or other places, it would probably be about probably three, four hundred kilometers further, so I don't really want to do that. So, we're gonna go and try and go on the shortest road possible, which is this road. That means, yes, you guessed it, Mr. Scott and Lisa, the chicken man is coming through town. <laughs> yeah, we guys, all we, we always have a joke with Lisa and Scott about chicken, so, uh, so yeah, the chickens are gonna come through town. That's what I would like to say. I bet you, when you guys watch it, you guys are going to have a good laugh. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, it's all in the name of fun. That's right. So let's get on down out of here. Well, guys and gals, we've been giving her for a good while already. 
Well, we are just about to come into uh, the Luz, the Luz, Minnesota. That's right. Looks like we got 13 more miles to go according to the sign up here, but there's actually a truck stop in about 11 miles. That's part of the Luz as well. And that's where we're going to stop for the night, as long as we can find us a good parking spot in there anyways, that's the goal. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully we can get in there and get us a good spot somewhere and go park in there and then uh, we might have a surprise for you guys. We just might. We just might. Very possible. But uh, hey, we will see what happens, right? But yeah, but, uh, it's looking like it's going to be a fantastic Monday, like I said earlier. Probably one of the best Mondays out there. That's right. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we only have probably about 900, a little over 900 miles left to go for tomorrow and the day after. So we should be in Ottawa fairly early. And, uh, hey, we might be up to something up there in Ottawa, maybe. We'll see how everything goes, but uh, we might, we might be up to something up there. And I'm talking about possibly meeting somebody up there. Possible. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I would love to. I already contacted that person. But they have not gotten back to me yet and it's been a few hours but uh, we'll see we still have two more days to get there right so maybe by that time they will have seen the message but anyways we're gonna get out of here I just figured I would do you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on and what we're up to I think we're gonna call it a day once we get up here to this truck stop and we'll see what we'll be doing guys here we are and we are meeting up with a uh, very nice gentleman by name of Scott hi guys hey how's it going buddy pretty good what are you having here I'm having a strawberry malt oh boy look at that I'm gonna for the first time I'm gonna try me a uh, banana split yeah looks good looks good right so let's get to eating right <laughs> all right guys and gals we had us a little bit of an ice cream and I had me a little bit of a burger, but uh, Scott had already had his supper. So now we are on the on the way to his house. I'm gonna go see what uh, what his house looks like and where he lives. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get dark over here, but uh, yeah, we had us a fantastic evening. But didn't want to record too much in there just in case we get copyright claim on it, because <laughs> they had music and the speaker was right at top of us right yeah but nice little mall up here right snow bank still yeah yeah there's actually snow up here a little bit Let's see if that camera is gonna pick it up there we go looks a little dirty <laughs> yeah anyways we're gonna go uh, to his house and we'll hang out with him for a little bit and then I guess we'll try and get back to the truck Hey guys, we got us a new partner. <laughs> hey Jukebox, you better look out. <laughs> hey, we got us a new partner. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're standing nice and tall over here, eh? Yeah, you're better behaved than Pooh Bear, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey Jukebox, are you jealous? Because I'm afraid of Pooh Bear. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't miss them at all yet, do you? Not at all, eh? You don't even want to hear their names. <laughs> oh, poor thing, eh? Yeah, we're over here at Scott and Lisa's place. And thanks for inviting me over here. Sure. Yeah, hang out for a little bit. And then we'll have to continue on, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you don't shed hair, eh? No. Yeah, that's no, what that's it looks fine. like. She just got a haircut here last yeah? week. Yeah, you like it, eh? Yeah. Very nice. I bet you my son is going to be jealous. <laughs> he loves dog nice too. Dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, we'll get out of here. <laughs> 
But guys, we are back in the truck, as you can probably tell. And we have had ourselves a very nice evening with Scott and Lisa. I appreciate you guys inviting me into your home. Very nice of you guys. And uh, hey, we didn't show a whole lot of their house or whatever, but uh, I figured, you know what? There's a little personal time between us there and uh, having a fantastic uh, evening and getting a good talk and all that good stuff. So uh, here we are back in the truck and uh, we are ready to go to bed. Yeah. I am at least ready. What about you guys? Are you guys ready for bed or are you just getting your day started? Hey, I'm going to bed right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, tomorrow will be another day and uh, we'll get out of here as soon as we can. As soon as my sleep time is over. I usually set my alarm clock for eight hours after I lay my head down or basically once I lay down set my alarm for eight hours after that and that's when we're going to get up and get out of here right so uh anyways if you guys enjoyed today's vlog or video whatever you want to call it then you know the routine give me a big fat thumbs up share the video hey and if you are new to our channel hit that subscribe button we would like that and come and ride along with us on a daily journey that's right I show you whatever I am up to daily I try anyways sometimes I miss a day here and there but for the most part I try and do it every day so stick around and we'll see you right here on Trucker Rudy tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time remember we are seven days behind so we'll see you again here right here tomorrow morning don't go nowhere <laughs>